Hey, I'm Joel from Bayork, and now we're gonna go through some basic building and see some more ad advanced creations from that. So, for this vehicle, I would love to start by opening the catalog by pressing tab. And in here, I can find different parts that I can put on the bot. Where, if, for example, I would need a motor here. So then I can choose one. Uh, this one comes with a built-in suspension and steering, which makes it easier to position your things. And then, of course, you need your wheels. It's a pretty small vehicle, so let's go with small wheels here. And then, of course, you need your driving seats. Where we have this in electronics under the controllers menu where we call it a docking station. This is where your drone, the character that you're controlling, will sit. If you spawn this, you can drive around and it will automatically uh, do normal WAST controls for you. Also, what makes the game pretty interesting is that we have a freeform, more non-destructive workflow. Where, for example, if I would want to move these back wheels further back, I could actually select the frame and move it backwards, or and the wheels will follow. But I can also make it wider. Um, how this movement works? is based on what we call the work plane. And that one changes depending on where your character looks. So for example, now I'm looking towards the front of the vehicle, so then it only moves in this 2D plane. But also if I rotate to the side, it will update and move in this 2D plane to this side instead. It makes it easier to move things in the 3D world. I'll have to move this down a bit so it's actually <laughs> drivable. But for example, for your vehicles, you're not limited to just using wheels. You could go more crazy and put a chassis on it where you can start forming it more towards a tire. But since uh, we, we don't only have squares, so you can choose to start bending and curving the parts to um, make it as round as you can. <laughs> or if you prefer, you don't have to. And let's add some more character to it and we can choose some cosmetics and make it pretty because everything's better with googly eyes. Oh, that's dissecting a bit. And then I can spawn this, start driving, and it will actually update with the uh, curves and everything and try its best to let you drive around. <laughs> this is mostly for the basics on how you can build stuff. We can curve it and continue updating stuff as we go by. And it's a very intuitive workflow for these sort of things. After a while though, the motors will have troubles pushing it forward, like here it's, it takes some time to build up momentum now and can't really go that fast.